just have a look at the map, a bit of Google Maps, one of Tanya's many maps that she's <laughs> accumulated on our trip. There is three beaches you can go to. Gray's Bay, Rose Bay, and this is where we're going. Horseshoe Bay, Bowen Beaches. It looks really nice. I'm excited. I'll get a bit closer to that. Horseshoe Bay. The big mango is cool, isn't it? It was really hot this day, so we stopped and gave the dogs a good hose down at the rest area opposite the big mango. So here we are at the, what's it called? Horseshoe Bay Caravan Park. It's a nice little park. And we're just getting all set up. Well, I think we'll take the dogs down there later for a run around and a swim. It's so hot, isn't it? Yeah. It's so hot. So I'm extremely excited about my new washing washing clothes horse. Is that what it's called? Clothes line. Clothes line. So it's very light. I can do it on my own. I do not need help getting untangled from the other type of clothes line. And it's easy. So all it is is two brackets, Andrew bolted one on there and one on there. And can you put them on the caravan? You can put them on the caravan if you choose to, but I put them on the back so it's out of the way. And all we do is put that in there and in there. And voila. Well, but for Andrew and I, it's plenty big enough. And then we'll put our wire one across the awning if we need it. But that, how easy is that? And then when you finish, you just pull it off and put it away. It's amazing. I did it. So tonight we've decided to go out for dinner. Beautiful. Lovely. So hello. Come on, come down here. Come down. There we are. He just got his got that little water bowl. So this is the next morning after our date night and out for dinner. Andrew has a sleep in, and the dogs and I and I go to watch sunrise and go for a walk to the lookout. The lookout's a nice easy walk, probably 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it's got a cemented path, a few steps and some beautiful views. We are today at Bell Gal Beach. It's about 45, 50 k's north of Townsville. Absolutely sensational beach. Just bear with me for a second. Digsy, come on. Back here. Rods out tomorrow and give that a crack. You never know, we might actually bring a fish home. <laughs> so we walked from over there where we camped, right around the beach. We just stumbled across this section. And I'm really happy that we chose yeah, this nice. camp. It's really nice. And over there is a little jetty boat, a, ramp. A boat ramp. And there's a little cafe restaurant thing that's licensed look at that big black cloud I think it's going to rain he's tropical calm anyway. in the tropics they're tropical they're his favorites they're heading off with the boys for a bit of a walk this morning normal morning routine wake up take the dogs for a walk So I let the dogs off if there's no one else down here. Quick run. Off you go. Oh, boy, don't do that to Dozer. Don't do that to Dozer. Come on. Digger wants his ball. Here we go. And the tide is coming in. Do not go over there, Nick. That looks a bit ferocious. 
किया Bird life is amazing. So here we go. This is the kids' park. It's nice and shady. Got some barbecues. There is a boat ramp as well, which is right next to the little cafe. So hey guys, so this afternoon's our last afternoon here. We're just sitting around the caravan, chilling out. So hey guys, I'm just going to give you guys a quick update on what's been happening over the last two days. Um, I tried to actually do this clip down at the water with Andrew while he's, fish while he's fishing. Um, but everyone kept chatting to me so I couldn't do it. So, anyway, so um, yesterday we took off from Balgala Beach and we drove, I think it was, I don't know, two hours, two and a half hours north and we are at a great little campground at Hull Heads. So, um, on the way we stopped at Paluma National Park and um, we were going to walk through the National Park to Jarama Waterfalls but the walk was a little bit too far and because we had to leave the dogs in the back of the ute um, we thought it was a bit too long to leave them. So I think it's only like an hour, an hour and a half walk up and back to the waterfall um, but if you've got dogs you can't take them into the National Park. However, there is a really good area out the front that you can park at with lots of shady trees. So um, the ranger's quite happy for you to leave them there. There's also camping up there. It's really, really nice. Beautiful creek crossings. We really liked it. So maybe one day we'll go back there. So after that, we kept driving um, up to Hull Heads to our campground. Um, we checked in, there's a caretaker here at all times, um, so there's no need to ring and book, you just check in when you get here. Um, $20 a night to stay here, and we've stayed two nights, and we may stay a third night, just depending on the weather. So while we're here, I've put, yep, so I've put photos in so um, that you'll be able to see what the campground's like. Um, we've done lots of fishing, not that we are very good fisher people, but we did catch two little fish. So Andrew's gone to try and catch some more fish, hopefully a bit bigger. Um, and we put them back because they were obviously way too small. But it would be really um, a really nice little spot to take the kids fishing. The caretakers actually set fishing rod holders up along the bank. Um, so you don't have to go too close down to the get eaten by a crocodile. Um, so that's really, really good. And there's a nice grass area that you can sit at. Um, tables and chairs, picnic tables. Yeah, there's a really nice big long beach that you can take the dogs down to. So we've taken the dogs down there once a day for a big run on the beach. You can let them off the lead. It's a quiet beach. There's no one down there. Um, yeah. Um, once we decide what we're doing tomorrow, I'm not sure. We'll either head up to Mission Beach, but apparently it's been raining up there. So we're not sure, we'll just wait and see what the weather's like tomorrow and we'll either stay here another night or two or head off up to Mission Beach. That will probably be it for this episode of um, our travels to the Cape. And yeah, so we'll see you next episode. How's the fishing going, Andrew? It's not. What's happening? Snags. Why? Because the line keeps getting caught in the rocks behind you.
So don't miss next week's episode where we camp out at the Paddock Campground. We visit the famous Paranella it's romantic castle in Queensland. Well, welcome. Here we are at Paranella Park.